everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Monisi and today is a very special day I'm going to be attempting to flip this very special dresser and there's a story behind this dresser that I want to share with you so the story behind this dresser my parents decided to move to the USA from Brazil when I was three years old my mom was pregnant with my younger brother and they didn't have a lot. They had to start from zero and my dad did have family in town, but there's still a lot of help they needed. So the church that they attended had an amazing elder and he decided to give this dresser to my family to help them out, which was such a sweet thing. He was an amazing man, amazing person. He actually is the person that baptized me when I was baptized in 2006. So it's a very special piece that we have and it was black and then my mom painted it white and then black again. So I really wanted to get down to the wood grain and I have some ideas for it, but we'll see how it turns out. This is solid wood. I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but it's solid, so it's super heavy. And I think I'm going to start with the drawers to see how it turns out and how easy it is to strip the paint off, which I am not too optimistic of it being easy to do. <laughs> so let's get started and come along this journey with me. My first step was to get the paint off of these drawers. So I did use citrus strip and then I put saran wrap on it and I waited about an hour before I attempted to scrape off the paint. As you can see, I had quite a bit of trouble using this scraper so I did switch to a sharper one and then I think I used citrus strip twice or three times for this the drawers. This is my second attempt and then I used a sharper scraper which helped a lot. And then I used just dish water, uh, dish soap water and then scrubbed down to where what it looks like now. And then I took the lining out of the inside of the drawer because I wanted something different. I didn't film the process of the other two drawers because it was basically the same thing so I didn't want to bore you but then the next step was to scrape off the dresser and this took me so long. I think it had three or four layers of paint. You can see there was white but it kind of looks lavender on the top so I think I had to put three layers of citrus strip on the top part which was quite the hassle. but. It's weird because the sides came off pretty easily, but this is my second attempt of getting the paint off. <laughs> Maybe it was two, two times, but no, it was definitely three. This is the third. Okay, so that was the last of that. I'm done with that, and then I just put mineral spirits to remove the citrus strip. I actually went out and bought a new sander. Look how beautiful she is, but I also got some protection for my respiratory system and my eyes, and I look pretty interesting with this attire. <laughs> so I went and started sanding, and I have to rave about the sander. It was so much easier to use this. I used a coarse sand sanding disc first and then I when I was done with that I did use a finer one to smooth everything out and it really just made the project go a lot quicker next I moved along to the drawers and just sanded down as much as I could I used Dixie Belle's dried sage paint and it's a beautiful very light sage color and I when I saw the paint, I thought it was going to be a little more taupe, which I'm so happy that it's more green because I saw sage and I thought, hopefully there's a little bit of green in this and it's very, very subtle, which I really like, but you can definitely tell when it dries that it's green. So I decided to paint around the drawers 
I left a little bit of the sanding at the top as you can see and I want to stain that part to kind of bring out the green and make it pop a little more which I was so happy I decided to do I originally had wanted to stain where I'm painting but I think it was just so hard to get down to the wood grain so I decided to just paint it my next step was sanding down the bottom and painting that as well <laughs> Eu não vejo a hora que você termina isso. Eu adorei essa cor! O <risos> que, que foi? Não, a Lorita falou que você é profissional. Ai, meu Deus. Ela que é. Next, I use Dixie Bell's Voodoo Gel Stain in All Natural. And I used a little sponge and decided to stain where I had, had sanded on the top. And I really, really loved how this turned out. It was exactly as I pictured in my mind, which made me so happy. I really love that light wood grain color and I just think it feels so coastal and like you're in a beach house, which I just think is so relaxing when you look at those, those types of furniture. So that was what I went for with this. Um, I definitely made a mistake here. I should have not <laughs> done this. So don't apply the stain directly to the wood like that. This is the next morning. I decided to just do everything over, at least the top part. I sanded it down and I used a wet sponge this time with the stain and that actually really really helped to get it that even stained tone next i applied dixie bell's best dang wax clear over everything the wood the paint and this was my first time using this wax and i am raving about it i think it was so amazing it was applied easily it made everything look so much better so i just applied that and then buffed it up with a rag and i just love how it turned out i want to try showing you the difference between when it's waxed and when it's not waxed this is just the paint and you can tell it's just kind of dull not shiny kind of chalk like chalk paint and then the wax is drying and then I'm gonna buff it up with a rag, but you can tell the left side is more vibrant. You can really see the rich um, sage color in it. And then it just brings out the beauty in the artwork. So yeah, you can really tell the difference. It makes it pop. Then I just applied wax to literally everything on the piece. Before someone comments, I do know that there are better brushes to apply wax. I just did not have it on hand, so I used what I had. This was the lining that I ended up going with. A beautiful floral. Here's a reminder of what we had before.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel, comment, and I hope to see you next time.